How's it going bros? It's your boy and uh, well today is well the first drama video in quite a while I, I think I decided to tip my toes back into this horrible toxic pool but you know what it's good for the views ain't it so today is well as you can guess by the title about good old Matt oh poor Matt what has happened to you so for those of you who have been living under, under a rock for like the past couple of days like me although even I know about this mundane Matt has had a little bit of trouble that he's gotten himself into. He has become what he originally fought against, what made him popular in the first place. He has become a false flagger. I mean, there was a few precursors to this, like he got into some minor controversy over flagging some people who were basically re-uploading his own content without his permission. That is technically not against the terms of service. I can't really argue against that. I mean, it was stuff that he hasn't really released in quite a while. I mean, like it's a film, it was from a film or something and they were, it was out of context. I don't understand what, why he, he chose to do that. All I know is they didn't get his permission, therefore technically speaking, it's okay for him to flag them. Not much I can do about that, I'm afraid. Recently, I think from what I know, people have been getting flagged because they've been criticizing him or saying things that he didn't like. And there was some speculation that it was him. And it just so happened that the one person that he chose to flag because he's doing this behind the scenes, we didn't know yet until now, was Ethan, I'm five foot six, I like black dicks, Ralph. Yeah, that guy. Of all the people that you could possibly get angry at and false flag, it happened to be him. Because if it's one person who, if he's not getting things wrong and actually lying, he will get this right and he will expose you if you false flag him. Because he, he has his ways when he wants to be honest about him. So it was a stream or something or a video that Ralph did that provoked the area of Matt. I guess it doesn't really matter what it was, only that the false flagging happened. And it may have been to do with some edgy content that Matt originally posted years ago before he was even one day Matt, to do with some stuff there that he was basically using to say stupid shit. And I think he also flagged cognitive thought for uploading that content, f again, without permission. I could be wrong on that. So Ethan called him out live on Twitter saying, I know for sure that Monday Matt has definitely flagged my video. Monday Matt, out of all the things he could have done, denied it. And then he tried to use his kid for sympathy points. Oh, now there's death threats against my kids. There could well have been a death threat against his kid, but really, you're gonna you're gonna go to that level to try and get away with this. But then it gets even worse. Not only did he lie, he decided, you know what, I'm gonna defend myself on the kill stream on my own in front of all these people, including the likes of Mr. Metaka, Ralph himself, Jeremy from, from the quartering, I guess he was also flagged, I think, or he was there for another reason. So they finally get through like all these minutes of them talking to each other. Matt's denying it for ages. And then eventually, eventually they say, well, we've now got a way to show people's report histories and they showed everybody's report histories. Matt eventually had to screen share it after he was trying to delay it and they were poking fun at him saying, oh careful, he's taking his time because he's trying to photoshop this. And Keemstar was, well being Keemstar, yeah, even Keemstar was there saying, look, you're guilty because you're taking too long, even though he was, but again, that doesn't mean that he's guilty. He has, to, he has to admit it or there's actual evidence. And he showed it and it turns out that yes, he did it. That's the story, I know it's a very convoluted, uh, rambly take on it but hey whatever this is why you watch me right i'm going to talk about how why he could have possibly done it is his career over personally i think this is just the result of ego and possibly even hubris and his reason for doing it is purely out of anger and spite that's why he false flagged them didn't do it because he disagreed with them that's what he tried to say you know that's part of the reason why he got angry and because they said these things even though they're not breaking the rules he flagged them that's not even an excuse in my opinion I've been angry at things people have said about me. Did their streams get flagged? No. Even long ago, when I was accused of flagging somebody's stream once upon a time, I didn't flag it. I just don't buy his excuses. And he's saying that, you know, I'm gonna have to have some self-reflection here and really, you know, think about what I've done. I personally don't think he's going to do much at all. All he can really do is just shut up and not do anything, just ignore the criticism, even though that's probably not healthy for him. If he's going to automatically click that button, 
then that's a cause for concern because not only is that his go-to thing, so it makes you wonder, is it really out of anger if immediately he thinks about flagging this person rather than turning off the video, you know, watching something else, maybe just making a video response or even just, I don't know, going back to work, playing with his daughter and his wife. Of all the things he could do, he wanted to flag it. Which makes you wonder, it's not exactly emotional. It must be something to do with what they're saying. There's the hubris and the ego in thinking that not only can he do this because he's mundane Matt, turn off that pesky ad block and all those other things that people call him, but also he's the guy who was false flagged by, you know, Zoe Quinn. Hell hath no fury like a lover scorned. Five guys, burgers and fries, Gamergate, the guy who practically set it all off. Or at least that event sparked it all off. He would have thought, well, they think that because I got flagged, they can't possibly believe that I would flag anybody. Well, hmm, turns out, yeah, we, we, we do believe that you flagged them because, well, we've got the evidence. And that doesn't exonerate you from anything, doesn't protect you from anything. Basically, all that says to us is that you are now Zoe Quinn. How does that, how's that feel, Matt? I just can't believe that he genuinely thought that he could get away with that. <laughs> it just boggles the mind. And he's not even that big. As people have said, he's had some stagnant growth. I mean, he's still growing, but he's nowhere near like he should be. And that could be for many different reasons, but it's like, it's nothing to brag about, really, in this grand scheme of things. So I don't understand why he thinks all of a sudden that he's above all these people and that because these things have happened to him in the past, I'm only conjecturing, by the way, but it seems that way, that he can just go around and false flag whoever he wants, even going against the rules. And then get amazed when people have a backlash and have things to deny it because he now realises, well, shit, I'm in, I'm in the shitter. I'm up shit creek. I think he knew what he was doing was wrong because otherwise he wouldn't say so. Otherwise he wouldn't deny it. And this has basically ruined his reputation. This has basically meant that now anytime he criticises somebody, he's going to have this stick around for quite a while. People will say, well, how can you criticise that person when you yourself cannot take criticism? You are no better than the people you are supposedly against, and you are no better than the people that you are just giving some criticism towards, even though largely he sits on the fence anyway. So as long as he just fence sits and doesn't say anything remotely critical like Boogie, he does the Boogie way of making videos, he might be okay. Whether or not this would also apply to Three Book Theatre, where I assume he reviews films, I don't know, but I guess if it's political commentary, if it's social commentary, yeah, he hasn't got a leg to stand on at the moment. Although I will say, from the last couple of videos, right, now some people are saying that his career is over, Keemstar was the one leading this meme. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I don't think his career is over. It has taken a hit, but I think Keemstar of all people should know that when you reach a certain point, no matter how big you are, you will be able to recover from things like that. He, I think Matt is now past that point where he can be safe. Even Andy Worski, with his terminal decline, if the stats are to be believed, is still pretty big and still makes a lot of money from whatever audience he has left. And if we see on his latest videos, he used to be doing okay views-wise. Maybe it's because he's changed some subject or, I don't know, maybe the controversy has made people go over to his videos just to, you know, write comments and write insults at him, which is giving him watch time and has probably promoted him in the algorithm. So these people going over there to give him shit, probably not the best thing to do. You should probably ignore him and watch him plummet, but oh well, I mean, these aren't the smartest people we're talking about here. Don't get me wrong, the views aren't an, an amazing leap forward apart from one video. I think that was probably about a meme or some kind of thing that's in the popular culture right now. So he got over 70,000 views, while the others are above 10K just about. But then again, he was reaching below 10k, which he shouldn't be, although that's probably due to how many videos he releases. But then again, look at Sticks X and Amma for somebody who does well, releasing multiple videos a day. So yeah, he's, he's okay on the career front. It depends really where he goes from here. Does he amend his behaviour and, you know, start false flagging people and just either ignore the criticism or take it? He can only do one or the other. He can't just false flag people and remove the criticism entirely, because that is going to be worse than just ignoring it. Nobody says that he had to listen to them. Or maybe they do a content change. It'll still be the same format, but he'll just won't talk about politics, won't talk about social things. Or if it is social, it'll be something very cookie cutter and he'll just run of the mill for normies. That could probably help him. And maybe he'll just stick to films and... Well, I think another thing that people, 
I don't know if they've really been talking about this. I've been trying to think of this myself, so maybe they have to talk about this, but I think he's united a lot of people against him. He's no longer just the Bud Sports people who tend to, you know, lean right, but it's also people who lean left as well. Even people who aren't even Bud Sports related or... Yeah, it seems to me that there's a broad spectrum of people who now don't like Matt. Even though there probably already was to some extent, it's now even bigger than it was before because this type of shit just doesn't fly in the area of YouTube that he supposedly is meant to be inhabiting. I'm talking about the soul cost skeptosphere, which I don't think exists. Commentary, that, that type of shit. It, that just doesn't fly around here. You, you can't go around false fucking people because that's just... That's just wrong. It shows that you're not a good character. And Matt has always prided himself in being a better character than most people. Well, now we know that he isn't. Or at the very least, he's willing to stoop to their levels, you know, the people that he doesn't like. I mean, Matt, Matt, you're making me, of all people, sympathise with Ethan Ralph. That is how much you fucked up when two people who hate each other actually agree with each other on you. We have a mutual enemy. That doesn't mean he's my friend, but we have a mutual enemy. Well, you're more of a metaphorical enemy in, in my sense, but what you did, I cannot stand for, and it would be intellectually dishonest if I did not speak out fully, even though I have said things in, in the public eye, as some people have seen, but I feel that you need a video just so I can get it out there. Beyond that, I guess there's not really much to say without trying to repeat myself. He's basically become the thing that he hates. Then again, he could have always been like that. Maybe he has a long, long, long history of uh, reporting people, because it seemed like it did. It was quite a hefty amount of videos that he's been flagging. I personally don't think that it was just emotional reasons why he did it. I think it was to do with trying to silence dissent so that people were more likely to watch and agree with him than disagree with him. But on another thing, there is something about his integrity, because he has lost pretty much all his integrity and a lot of people have lost respect for him, or at least the very little respect they had left. But some people seem to be thinking that this is the moment where he lost all integrity. Well, as Omegan uh, kind of alluded to in his recent video about Matt, I said to him, really it was during the Candid drama when Handful of Opinions exposed Candid as the rather horrible authoritarian company that it was, rather than this free speech loving entity that it liked to shill itself as. That was when he lost his integrity. There were a few people as well who started to lose integrity there as well, but him, him, he in particular, and also the Amazing Atheist, they particularly lost a lot of integrity that day. At the very least, the Amazing Atheist has regained some of that since, but one day Matt hasn't. That was when he first started his downward spiral, to quote Ent Lemon, because he was defending this horrible company that has been exposed by Harmful opinions. You also had his own downward spiral. I'm not saying that he didn't, but the way Monday Matt acted towards him, how he defended Candid without a left to stand on, how he demonised Harmful and things like that, it was really just eye-opening if you think about it. Oh well, I guess that's really it. Monday Matt has fucked up. I don't think his career is at an end at all. That is an exaggeration. That's not me defending him. That's just saying, guys, look, he's at the point now where he's probably safe. If Andy Watts' career hasn't completely derailed, neither has Monday Matt's. But it remains to be seen. Maybe it will. But again, it's all up to him how his career pans out from here on. It's pretty clear, though, that he will need a new job. Because that, those Patreon dollars, they're going to be drying up soon. And again, nobody turns off that pesky ad block. So anyway, guys, it's, it's been your boy. I feel dirty now being on the side of Ethan Ralph. I'm going to go for a shower. So until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh,